Look at those big pink cheeks. Mom, rub your belly. Okay, kind of different start to the video today. So I got in my boots and the Duluth jeans and we're gonna test them out today. So I thought I would show you them. I just got the jeans in the mail, so we're gonna un unbox them. If you've never gotten Duluth stuff that comes in this fun packaging, I know that this is not an unboxing channel. This is not, I don't plan to make this a thing, but lots of you are super interested. So I've never ordered pants from them before. So interested. I did like take measurements and pick the size based on like my measurements. I typically wear Levi's. These are a straight leg pant uh, and I typically wear a size four. So that is what I ordered in them. But I typically wear a 20, like a 28 in jeans. And I think these are the same. So this is what they look like. I mean, they're very like traditional straight leg buttons pockets they uh, feel amazing like they have they're stretchy they're very soft the only thing that I'm concerned about is I typically wear a long and all they had was a regular I am not tall I'm only like 5'3 but I have really really long legs so this is the flannel they're flannel lined I'm gonna go put them on in just a second and we're gonna wear them outside it's about 37 outside so I think it's probably a little bit warm for them but we will try them without the coveralls and see how that goes. These are the shoes that I got. These are Rocky brand. This is not like a big, like, well, I don't like feel like it's well-known brand. I ordered them off Amazon. Couple of things. I looked at a lot of you guys' recommendations. I have really small feet. Finding the right size in shoe was hard for me. So like there were several, and I think I said this a couple videos ago, ones that I wanted, they did not have my size in. So they had my size in the non-insulated, these are uh, just hiking, but these are hunting boots, women's insulated hunting boots from Rocky. None of this is an ad. I ordered these, I paid for these myself. I ordered a half size up from what I usually wear so I could wear thick socks and they definitely are a little bit big. They have 800 grams of thin slit insulation. They have been very warm so far, but that's why they're camo colored is because they're hunting boots. I tend to like boots with laces rather than muck boots. And so if you've seen like older videos, I used to just wear muck boots with wool socks in the winter and I never had insulated boots. My brother-in-law brought me a pair of hunting boots uh, last year that were insulated, that were really nice, but they were older, they were a hand-me-down pair. And so these are the first ones that I've bought. Laces, but you can see like I didn't lace them all the way up I just have them very loosely tied here so I can slip them on and off So they work like a slip-on shoe for me because I will not take the time to lace them up Poor time management skills guys. Anyway, I want to show you one more thing That's just fun that my sister-in-law got me. So my sister-in-law always finds me goat t-shirts and different things uh, But guys, these are the best thing that she's probably ever found for me These are LL Bean house shoes. They're just like slip-ons and look at these goats like, does that not look a little bit like Tank or CC, and then Zelda? And look, the tongue's even out. Like, how perfect are these? And they're super warm. So it's just like new shoes day for me around here. So I'm gonna put these jeans on and we're gonna go try them out. Okay, so I definitely would have preferred a long in these. They are probably a size too big. They're very like loose fitting, just in general, but they have like really amazing deep pockets. They're very comfortable. Like I don't think I would order a size down in them. They're just gonna be farm jeans because uh, I would not typically wear this fit of jean. Okay, so you can see they're like a little bit more of a wider leg jean. They do fit lengthwise like perfectly. So they shrink and you go be too short. They're like right at my belly button. So I'm gonna try this with just a coat. We'll see how it goes. So it's too early to feed them dinner. It's like 4.30. I have poor time management skills, guys. I I don't know. I just have poor time management skills. Actually, what happens is I stayed a little bit later at work today than I had intended because I had a lot of things to get done. And then I had to go by the feed store and I had to go through the car wash because of all the salt from last week. And because more than likely it may snow again tonight, 
not a lot, get the car a refresh. So it's about 37 degrees out, close to 40. It was, I just unloaded a bunch of feed in my work clothes, reasonably comfortable. You ready to go play? Yes, um, I have had the shoes for two days, two days. I got them Tuesday, today is Wednesday. So just a day, I guess I wore them yesterday and very warm, they're very stiff still. Uh, and because of how I'm wearing them, they feel even more stiff, but uh, comfortable. They have good arch support. Something else I don't like about muck boots is that you, they are not comfortable to stand in for long periods of time. There's that. Hi! What do you think, Piggles? Hi, Toonie! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I know. Come on, Pig Pig. Let's put the camera down a bit. Hi! What do you think? Mom, rub your belly. Can you please leave the camera alone? Come here. Hey, come here. You like with your butt scratched? Hmm? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Hi, you, you know, this isn't the best angle of you. It's not. Can we, can we see this angle of you? There's a sweet pig. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at those big pig cheeks. Mom, rub your belly. Belly's kind of cold, sister. The camera doesn't produce the food. I know. It's disappointing. Mama pet you. Yes. Mama loves her pig. Why do you have to be such a stinker? Mm hmm. We rub those ears. Your ears are cold. Are you a cold pickle? Are you a cold pickle? Your body doesn't feel cold. Hmm? Do you need to be in your pickle house where it's warm? Yes. Yes, mom. They're very comfortable. They're very easy to move in. This temperature, like this is plenty of clothes. My thought was that these could be like weekend jeans to work on projects, to be outside with the goats, so that I wouldn't be always wearing the jeans that I wear to work, which is what I'm doing. I have no work clothes versus farm clothes. This was an effort to have some just farm jeans. So if you like this kind of fit, I think you could wear them to work. They're very nice. But for me, it looks like I have pants on that are too big. Not, not very in fashion for the millennial. Hell didn't drink that because somebody pooed in it. Are you in heat? Oh, and I bought a hay bag, so we're gonna set that up. It's not a, yes, I hear you. Hello. They have not eaten much hay at all. It is not a permanent solution, it is a temporary solution. It's just a ten dollar one they had at Worshland. So we'll get that set up today. Yes. Tinker <laughs> Bell. How are our goat friends? Hmm? Yeah, you are very chatty. It's a little early for dinner. Do you need snuggles? If not, Mom, please snuggle me. I don't really care about snuggles. We're hungry. We think we're hungry. Do you think you're hungry? Yeah. You're very fluffy. Yeah. This is, we're mad that we're not being fed. I mean, this is all with this. Don't fight. Don't fight. Like, I haven't fed anyone. Yeah. We, we don't need to fight over being fed. 
We don't. Daddy, can we, can we not rub Nani's booty? Maybe she doesn't want her butt rubbed by her head. Yeah, that, that kind of seems personal. It's because she's wound up. Teeny tiny Tinkerbell. What do you think, giraffe? Everybody hopes that you're pregnant. Should we get your water going? Yeah, should we get you guys some clean water? Mm, hi. Should we go ahead and feed you so that mom can be done with chores for the night? some hay that had kind of fallen out in the garage. I need to put that in pastry. The holes are really big and that's why this is not a long-term solution because they will waste a lot of it this way. It did take me a little bit more time to figure out than I would like to admit, but it's definitely another option and he can eat through the fence into it if he really wants to. So you can see that's super easy. Mm, that felt good. That's really fun. So I got in here and felt, figured out my butt itched and, and that felt pretty good. So they can eat on both sides and that's kind of the benefit of like this bigger bag versus the bag that I want is that they can eat out of through the fence. So like this one works really great to not have them waste a ton of hay but they can only eat out of one side of it. So it doesn't feed more than like two of them at once where this could feed four easily but yeah it did take me a minute to figure it out not good with the space and how it was gonna like tighten up i was like i don't really ha know how this works it comes a little draw it's just a drawstring bag i'm sweating like in the garage i was sweating these are very warm they're a very good barrier these jeans let's say that the wind is not blowing through them the cold isn't penetrating them at all what are you doing Oh, it has my kitty. Say hi, mommy. I'm gonna go, kitty. Should we have dinner? Hey, we're we're not being fed in the in the milk room. We're not. Mom, mom doesn't actually have the food yet. Can you please get down? So, all right, let's get dinner early. You crazy, crazy goats. Obviously it's a different day. I, funny story, tripped last night when I was doing chores. I'm fine. Over my own shoelaces, mind you. And I dropped the camera, just like about to drop all this food, and it shut off and corrupted the file. But I filmed like three other clips and none of them survived. So hopefully, I just got done editing everything but what you're about to see. 
And I think what ha I thought that I had broken the camera, but I think what happened is the battery died. And I think because I fell, I wasn't really paying attention to how dead the battery was. Hello. You guys hungry? I don't really need to dump that water. Oh. <sighs> Just dumped all their food out. Okay. Hang on, buds. We'll get you some more. So just dumped it all out. We'll get them some more. I'll get them some more when I do water. Uh, so just scared the crap out of pork chop as well. I do not know what is wrong with me. I tried to close everything up and I didn't shut the girl's gate fast enough and so the pigs ended up in the alleyway of the barn. Are you afraid of me now? Come on, let's go have dinner. It's okay and I had to chase them back out and I just used a stick to kind of tap them to redirect him like I was not hitting him I was tapping him and it scared the crap out of him poor pig pig my mom didn't spill the pig for dinner but I didn't eat him in the barn because I would have never gotten him back out because there was feed out. So that was an adventure. So yeah, I tripped and I dropped the camera and I thought I had broken it. It kept resetting itself. And what was happening is the battery was just dying. So, silly me. Let's just grab the wrong pair of gloves because I can't seem to like hold on to anything. What do you guys think of the headband? I made this one. I made a bunch of these for people for Christmas in like a bunch of different colors. Jeremy wants me to make them and sell them because they're really fast. I don't know. What do you guys think? The jeans are awesome. I really like them. Very comfortable. I think they're like anything to lose. Gonna be very durable. Gonna be just a work jean, but very warm. Uh, the hay bag I'm gonna take out tonight. I may just try to raise it up some, but uh, they've gotten their legs stuck in it. And I think that's gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna take it out and not use it anymore. The other ones that I'm looking at, they couldn't get their legs stuck in. Just like they don't get their legs stuck in the one that I'm currently using. Uh, tank got all tangled up in it. Not worth the risk of a broken leg. All right, my silly bears. It's night night time. Say night night nannies. Night night puppies. Oh, her is a good girl. Who's over here? <gasps> no, no, pepperoni. See, mom, my name is Pepper. What about the wild woman here? Can we have a night night, Tinkerbell? Say no, no, Tinkerbell. Say no. Daisy, are you being rude? Hi, Zelly. Hi, Zelly. No, no, Link. Oh, it's the goodest boy. So I forgot sharing food. Daisy? Night night, giraffe. Mom, I'm cleaning up. Anything left of dinner? Hi! Night night, Twizzer. Night night, best friend. No, no night nights for best friend. Night night, night boners. Night night, sweet bunny girl. They're so good. Night night, Pat May. Night night, Patty. It's a good girl. Didn't get to drink water out of the faucet tonight. It's probably disappointed. 